So, public comment on items not on the agenda. Additions or changes or deletions. Noon. All right, Coronial Fields. <coughs> I think I forwarded all of the time. Um, Katie, I'm going to myself. Um, you don't have to hide in the bathroom. I'll come out and go somewhere. Um, <laughs> Fashed in the bathroom. So you've been in contact with Ann Winchester, our 911 coordinator, and she's agreed on the the numbers of the E911 addresses. That's all been confirmed. <coughs> East Montpelier Fire Department has signed off that they can provide services to you. To you. <coughs> the only thing that we have to do, our only thing to do, is to approve the name of the road, and you would like it to be Dragonfly Lane Private. Mm -hmm. I confirmed with Toby today, just to double check and make sure, because I don't want you to be surprised, mm -hmm. that that entire name can fit onto a sign that only needs one post. And that was our goal. Right. I just want to clarify for the notes that it's not fields, it's just perennial field projects. So it's PFP, just not that it's that important, but. Okay. Um, so in the, in the minutes it says perennial fields. Mm -hmm. But we've just got one field. One field. Okay. And it won't, it'll, it's, the project is going to be transforming the field into field plus agroforestry, so over time. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. Um, yeah, so Dragonfly Lane, private, one pole. Great. All one word, Dragonfly. Right. That's what I have right now. That's what you meant, right? Yeah. And Alfred would order the sign. <clears throat> and right, any how does that work as far as the install? The, the, do we explain when the road, when the entry, the curb cut's completed? How, how do we? I think you would notify Alfred about okay. installing it. I think it's a private road. But I think he'll I think he'll install it. We just like it to be done the way that you know, sure. according to standards. Okay. And right now there is on the side of the road where there's about to be excavation as soon as the roads are open to do that. Um, it says no parking, which we welcome a sign for that, but it might be in the way of... Um, That's a no parking because of the swimming access? Yes, on our side of the road it says no parking, which is great, but that sign will need to be removed. Do you want our excavators to do that or is that an Is it one of those permanent signs? Um, yeah, it's a no part, but in order for the vehicles to make the swing. So I mean, it's right at your driveway entrance. Yeah. Or no, what I mean is it a permanent deep. sign, yeah. or is it something that you can take out and put back in? No, it's, it's a street permanent. sign. It's okay, a, so it, then, because it's to inform the typical um, mm -hmm. swimming people not to park on that side of the road because right. they'd have no so I would hope that that would be installed, reinstalled before swimming season begins. Well, that's a road crew issue. So, yeah. Yeah, just Alfred I'm, I'm so asking who removes it. Does Alfred. Our crew Alfred. Alfred's in charge. He's the commissioner. Right. He's in charge of roads so and signs. So, so let yeah. him know. Have, meet him out there. Yep. And you'll figure out where to relocate it to. He'll relocate it. Great. Yeah. Relocate. So he, he just need, So I'll talk to him about yeah, removing right. it for the construction yeah. part, right. and then yep. re. Um, I'm putting it in after. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. He'll probably put it somewhere else so it doesn't yeah. have to keep getting moved. Well, it's not going to keep getting moved. It's just while you're doing the construction, right? Well, of so it's so it's moved once, and you just have to come back again after the construction. Right. Yeah. yeah. It'll be pretty obvious when the construction's there. It's going to be. It's going to be alarming. <laughs> just because it's yeah something new. Right. All right. So, can I get a motion to approve the private road name of Dragonfly One Word Lane Private One Pole? So moved. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Where did that name come from? Just curious. Uh, many, many meetings. Wow. In voting. Okay. Over, over a road name. I, I had a feeling it might have been. Mm -hmm. Not my first choice, but. I'd about to say mine either. Yeah, well, but, moved. Whatever. <laughs> it exactly. is what it is. It's all right? yours. Yeah. 
done. Let's hope it's not a so unique a name that people want to steal your sign. That yeah. that's like a word of caution, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, like we, Lightning Ridge. Lightning Ridge, we cannot yeah, see that baby. sign. How many are we on our fourth How or fifth? Do you have well, I was on Eagle Edge. I got my whole drive. So, so you, you know. Okay. Mud hole. I don't think anybody would been would really want to steal Dragonfly Lane. Well, yeah. But I think we get a high five. Yeah, yeah we didn't talk at all. Oh. You want to take them home with you? <laughs> wow, well, thanks. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Your, your yeah. Good luck. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. Bye. Are you here for a public comment? No, one ton truck, broken frame. I'm waiting for Alfred to come to do that. So you got a welding proposition for us? Um, okay, now let's wait for Alfred. Let's wait for Alfred to get here so we don't have to have this discussion twice. Hmm? Do you think he's coming? Yeah. So we killed the project. We couldn't so let's talk about plan. roadside mowing. I emailed, as I said I would, the Conservation Commission and asked them about roadside mowing. And guess what? I haven't heard anything back. So I have to well, the it's chair on just got to town. I emailed on their agenda for Yeah, but you can do that over email. But anyways. Oh, I'm sorry. We passed them around before. Passed them around. Maybe drove on one. Stop it. No. Thanks. Well, um, Alfred is on his way because Judy has a correspondence. Oh, him. okay. Um, the orders are circulating. There's a lot of them. Ready? Just let me get started. Do you want to start? Oh, sure. Okay, thanks. All right. Um, what else can we talk about until Alfred gets here? Perennial Field 1S. I'm hoping that Alfred has a recommendation on the curb cut. The town clerk? Town clerk, do you have any updates, Judy? Just that the election is on Tuesday from 21st, 7 a.m. Right? to 7 p.m. It's uh, early voting is available, and absentee ballots have been mailed out. And can, well, it's getting a little close, but can still be mailed out. And, and what are we voting for? This is board. for the merged board. The ten positions. Ten oh. positions, and the only contested position is in Callis between Dorothy Mailer and Chris Catteret. It's and Tuesday, you said? Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. So do we have to pick ten, or we only have to decide? Ten. There's a Two from each ballot ten. up there. Okay. And, Okay, thank you. That reminds me of the ballots just arrived um, actually at my house over the weekend. And um, everything's a little delayed. It's very, very tight. And it's voting here? And it's voting here and we're using the tabulator, but we haven't received the tabulator cards yet, which is, again, kind of late. So um, we're in permanent election mode. Mm -hmm. I'm so yeah. sorry for you. <laughs> because as soon as they're voted in, they'll vote the date for the budget for oh, yeah, the another good. election. And sometimes have it worse that because of the delay of the budget vote, they actually have to have their town vote to change. They may have to have their town's vote to change the date of the tax bills that are due. So it just one thing leads mm -hmm. to another. So mm -hmm. yep, we have it a little easier than sometimes maybe because wow. we have that flexible <sighs> first uh, date. Oh, good. Um, anything else? Can we do the volunteer appreciation? Mm -hmm. Not unless you have questions. Um, I don't think so. Everything's running smooth. You guys got vacation schedules? Um, I, I had a few days off. We, we, we for ourselves. So yeah. Not really. No. But we'll, we'll let you know. Yeah. Okay. There, I, I think you, you pass out a memo, not to me, I guess, because I'm elected. But, right. Because you're elected. Um, exactly. There were some questions about what motivated that, so you might want to get that to. I think it was just a. Not their employee meetings. Why are not doing this anymore? We tried to do it with the. Well, we do staff meetings. Staff meetings, yeah. But it's been hard to get together with the road crew mm -hmm. just because of the schedule. Not the year. Yeah. No, just let you know. No. Okay. Um, yeah, we may have to delay our tax bills depending on what happens with the all these different votes and stuff, just a heads up. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, ours don't have a date certain, which other towns do, by which they need to be mailed. Ours is a little open-ended that we can mail the tax bills and the first payment is due 30 days, blah, 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 and the second installment is due November 15th. November 15th. 
so actually, we are at a better place for this because by the time all these budgets get voted and the state weighs in and it usually takes them a month to come up with the amount of money, we may be delayed in collecting taxes. So that may be put us in a position where even though we have, um, what, what does Sandra call it, cash on, she calls it something specific, but. The lag. Yeah, the lag time may mean that we have to take out a loan in anticipation, and, a loan in anticipation of taxes or something like that, which is another whole issue since it's the state delaying the. Right, she can talk about that at your next Yeah, she'll be coming to our meeting on the um, 10th of June. So that's just a little fill-in that I was going to do later. We can do it now. And now Alfred's here. Thanks for coming. Hey. Back. <laughs> okay, so we just approved um, Perennial Field having a road name called um, Dragonfly, one word, Lane Private. And I confirmed with Toby, and I think I sent you the same email, that it would only need one pole. So. Uh, I, I did some research for that. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you for doing that. So we'll get you the correct spelling of that, and then. Um, I think we bought them. We buy the first one, but they get yeah. stolen. Right, then they're it's on, on them, them right? right? We need to be clear on this right up front with them. You have a, uh, you have a problems with Lightning Ridge? Yeah, well, well when you start private. getting names like this that are unique, they might disappear. Right. Lightning Ridge is not a private road. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. But but it's a unique name, so it gets right. swiped. And this is another one of those, so I worry about that, but okay. Um, if it was Maple Road, it would be fine. Mm -hmm. Alfred. I say whatever we do, we have to be consistent. Right. No, yeah. Right. I think we're being consistent that we would buy the first sign, and then after that, they're on their own. And then she also asked about, there's a sign there that talks about no parking. Swimming area parking. On that side of the road. We relocated. The perennial field side of the road. Um, because of every driveway. Right, but the I construction said, vehicles. This they, they're not going to be able to make the turn. Bigger vehicles. I guess it's tight to the wall. Just move it. Yeah, move it. Yeah. So she'll con she's going to contact you okay. when the construction people are coming, so you have time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's it's ledged through there, so it's hard to find a spot. For oh, really? Yeah, you can't drive a sign through the. No. <laughs> so it's you know that's why it's. Located where it is, mm -hmm. probably that was the only soft spot there was. But we'll figure something out. Okay. Because we do need a sign there, because otherwise people will be parking there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> right. Um, all right. Truck. One ton truck. Okay. Did you, have, you were going to give us an update at our meeting yeah. from the last time? Yeah. Well, all I know is that it is now at McLeod's. Promising me they can fix it. Hopefully tomorrow. A replacement part, full section, or no? Well, the, really, and they can certify it. They told me they would inspect it. And that's how much it says right here. And, that, and I'm sorry, Alfred. What? I didn't get a quote that's for fair. how much it's going to cost to fix it. I was just delighted to hear that they can fix it. Mm -hmm. I can assure you it won't be thirty-five thousand dollars that we were quoted at the first price. <laughs> Well, it was 14 for the new frame, and then they wanted 20 grand to mount and dismount the, the equipment. So that right away was not happening in my opinion. So it could be done. That's why I bought it here. Thanks, Greg. Federal Board Carrier says you can do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so McLeod's is going to fix it. McLeod's okay. They got they have a good. They give you a ballpark. They did. They did. Um, but if it was scary, they would have warned you. Yeah, I don't see it being more than much more than a thousand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What a difference though between fixing it and replacing just a hunk of metal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not much to it. Isn't there a is song about the the is on the side? Is that where uh, it is on the passenger side? Really? Oh, that would. <laughs> well, the frame does this, this number of yards. You can edit that out. That's where. That's where it's. I'll leave it in. I, your voice is so low. I don't think so is, so is he going to check the other side and make sure that one's not getting thin? He said that that's where they go. 
So should we do both right. sides while we're at it? He's, he's never had one on the Oh, it's always on the best. It's always side. on the passenger side. Hmm. It's the stress so, of the wings. The stress uh, of the wing. The stress of the wing is always. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Will so be better than new. Will be stronger. Be fear. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have no fear of it. Um, Great. However, in this process, I did do some other research and mm -hmm. uh, looking for a uh, replacement truck. And at the show that we went to last week, Parks has a brand new model international. It's a step up from a Ford 550, but it's a step down from a low pro. So it's GDW is uh, 21,000 pounds. What's 550? Mm, 17 or 18. Now this is to replace which truck? The, the 550. Which is the one with the broken frame. The one that's broken. The frame, broken. The frame right. Okay. Uh, given the fact that that truck is six months from being its time is up. Uh, it went into service September 2014. Hmm. So it's five years. So I didn't think that this was a complete waste <coughs> of energy because at that time I still didn't know that the frame was going to be fixed or mm -hmm. whatnot. But I think it's worth looking at this at this truck regardless. It's a heavier duty truck. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a GM motor, Allison transmission. Straight frame, so it's none of this, you know, up yeah. over the wind. That's yeah. the weak point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They've made it so it's a straight frame, it's higher. Um, I really like the looks and the sounds of this truck. How much was it? Um, so, altogether, Clark's actually bought what they call slots with the company, the body company that puts the body and the files all together. Mm -hmm. So, everything together was, as of right now, is 18, uh, 118. Ooh. That's total. That's hold body. Up, up, that's up, body. Up, plow, up, everything. Yes, right? that's everything. Every that's truck, plow, rig, and everything in service, ready to go. Oh. Uh, we paid 103 for that. Five fifty. For that five fifty. Five years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're getting almost twice the truck, five years later, for fifteen grand. Fifteen grand more. Right. So basically, same price. How much is the how much would the trade in be on the current one after we get? Well, it that I don't know yet. I haven't I haven't gotten that far. I will talk with Clark's to see if they're interested first of all. And you said it was one hundred and three for the current. Hundred. What we paid for for the the total five fifty. Yeah, total five fifty. Package was mm -hmm. one one hundred three. Okay, F five fifty. Yep. Good job. And was that used? Or was that used? Yeah, brand, brand new. new. Brand new. Brand new. How many miles are we going on that? Five uh, fifty. Right now it's like forty uh, two, two, three. It's not. But it's a lot. But it's oh, a lot of hard miles. No, I know. It's I know. Like six a pounding. I know. Miles. That little truck pushing that big plow. Yeah. It's, it's hard miles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. Um, in. Also, what I found out is that with with this new international, you can do it's a, like a lease program, same as we've done for many other trucks. This so is this hundred eighteen thousand dollar one. Is a lease. Yes. Lease purchase would be a, you would defer your payments for a year, so you wouldn't have a first payment until the following year, and that would be right in line with our with our. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Yep. Is the five five fifty yeah. paid off? No, there's one more payment. On that. So that's good Part timing. Standard. So, so that would so that we would we could make that payment and then we wouldn't have a payment on this new one until a year later. And the payments would we just be continuing essentially the same payment because ballpark so about close. the same line. Right. right. Yeah. 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 So we won't see any effect in the budget. But a truck that's three times better, guys, because it's a straight rail. And you said it's an international. Yeah. But with a GM motor. And an Allison six P. Allison, yeah. sure, yeah, it's an automatic six P. I, I assume that international with the GM motor is good, right? They're, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll find out in eight yeah. years. <laughs> it's a brand new truck. Just they just barely landed mm -hmm. weeks ago. 
Hmm. Okay. The first one that, that uh, showed up at the show. Is that, so motor, you, is that so motor a, a historic motor? Is it that's not like a new design like we had in with that international number? That was a new oh, thing. Oh, they all have one we got rid of. What? what? They have the is that a, oh, yeah, it's, it's not a classic GM motor that's been in other trucks? And yes, okay. I can do more That would be good to find out for the details. It's the first year, I don't know, say no. No, I, just know that no, I think it's the, it's an old motor, but it's, but it's the first time it's been put into an international. Good, that's what I want to hear. That's, okay, that's, so what are you looking for from the board to do more research? Can you just give us a heads well, up? Well, I'm giving you a heads up on my <laughs> research, but I also, there's only three of these trucks left. There was 14 brought in, there's mm -hmm. three of them left. Right now, if we if we can come to an agreement, mm -hmm. we can have that truck in service by November, on the road, ready to plow. By so you would want me to put this on the next select board agenda, on the 28th? Yeah, so you're gonna find out the trade. Yeah, I can work on the trade. Right. Value. Will they, on your, if you ask them to, would they, Hold one until you get more information and come back to the board. Do you think? Uh, they might give me two weeks, but beyond that. Yeah, because we're not meeting on the 27th because that's Memorial Day, so we're meeting on the Tuesday. Just so you know, for your schedule, so you can come okay. back and fill us in. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let them know we're interested. Yeah, I'll work on yeah. the trade. Value you need new trucks, so. And uh, can you? It's in line. It's keeping our capital budget in line. You know. Yep. 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 Truck, right? right, and find out you know what the lease purchase annual cost is, and you said this includes the truck with the plow, all set to go. Everything, all done. That's right. That's right. Well, so if you could find out when you go and negotiate, I know you, I know you know how to do this, but find out exactly what our lease payment is, mm -hmm. annual, or pay annually, but um, find out and see if we can just continue that level of payment. Maybe we could trust her some more. Right. Well, Maybe lower interest so it equilibrates. You know? There's some wiggle room too in the equipment because they've set it up a certain way mm -hmm. and that's what their price reflects. Mm -hmm. If I change the equipment, mm -hmm. I can I can it can change up or down. Yeah. Hopefully down. But mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I need to do more research on the side dump because mm -hmm. I've heard that some of these side dumps on the smaller trucks don't work as well. Uh because they don't tip up enough to get the stuff right. to flow into the, right. into the, oh. uh, to the too light that's truck. something I have more research yeah. more also. Um, well, we would trust your judgment on that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. You know it better yeah. than, than, especially me. Right. But and I do want to check in on moving the sign. Buy a truck, but where are you going to move that sign? Buy <laughs> 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 a truck, right. Right, and just make sure you work. No, the I room. didn't think we said we were going to have a check in on the sign. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus. Anything else? Got to micromanage something. Yeah, that's good. Buy a truck, power 118. Okay. Uh, anything else, Alfred? Uh, yes. Uh, so, again, at the truck show. Mm -hmm. Something else to buy. <laughs> looked at one of these. What is wow, it? good one. It's a John Deere grader. It's just, it's not for now, it's not for, it's just something for you guys to start warming up to. <laughs> 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 about metal, metal mania. Yeah. Right. That farmers are afflicted by. And it's anything with, farm? Anything with wheels. <laughs> anything with wheels and tires. Yeah. And shiny. And steel. And steel. Right. So. So what's the price tag? Their price right now is three and a quarter. <laughs> However, uh, we probably got a hundred thousand dollars worth of trade in, depending on which one we get rid of, and that's not a hundred percent sure. But you know, and I that's a brand new grader, right? This is a brand that's priced for a brand new grader, um, and then we'll probably, I'm guessing, we're going to get a hundred thousand for our trade. For, so now we're just one of them. Back down to two. And we might be able to discuss a little bit more with the municipal discounts and all that. I didn't get into with the. Mm -hmm. I was really hoping these graders, because we we're splitting between two, we'd be able to get a lot more time out of these. So one, of them's really, have, one of them's really old. I mean, we have gotten a lot of extra time out of these two, because yeah. we've had two. Uh, so you would get rid of one and keep one, correct? Yes. I still want to maintain two. Mm -hmm. How often does this truck show happen? <laughs> yeah, we're not letting you go anymore. Wow. Every year this time. I'm, I'm just glad my husband day. didn't go too. 
We, 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 we probably have a truck we don't need. <laughs> well, it's just something to be thinking about. Yeah, no, I know. It's going to happen eventually. Well, actually, just Roger was just asking me, he goes, one of those graders is really old. He said, I would think that it would be, the handling of it would be difficult, that it was kind no, of like moving all old. over the... They got rid of the giant. Yeah. yeah. The two graders are both the same yeah. here. That's, and they're maintained. That's John Deere, right? Yes. They're maintained. So you, the cat leaves, the John Deere stand, you standardize the John Deere. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Right. Don't help him out, Greg. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Well, I, I yeah, see I'm it. actually pretty it. torn about that because I don't, you know, both graders have been really good to us. Yeah. And, yeah. and they get uh, they get they get a workout. They do. Yeah. They do. This time of year. Oh yeah. So, uh, so So that's just something for you guys to think about uh, <laughs> as far as putting it into our capital budget mm -hmm. and Money yeah. you know, around that. So then there's one more. Oh, oh no, is that another picture of a shiny thing? Yeah. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> oh. uh, it's, it's a hydro seeder. Oh, did we borrow oh. one last year from? We borrowed one, we tried one out from the town of Woodbury. Woodbury, right. Uh, but this is night and day different from theirs. We had, we spent half a day just loading the thing. Because it's set up different, it doesn't break up the mulch. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it was clogging up. I just, I was not impressed with that. Didn't have a no, I remember you said you didn't like it. It didn't right? have a, no, it doesn't have a, this okay. one has an auger in it. Okay. Oh, that so, makes sense. It's kind of like a pellet, it's kind of like a pellet stove auger thing. Similar, yeah. except for it's, it's yeah. not really an auger, it's more of an agitator. So it breaks up the mm -hmm. chunks in the, in the smaller pieces, so it flows. Uh, Town of New Small Players just bought one of these. Just barely weeks ago bought one of these. Hmm. We'll try it out. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to try it out. Yeah. But we also need to be thinking about it because. How much is it? You have to ask those tough, tough questions. That's my bottom uh, line. How much 50, is it? Twenty. <laughs> no, no, no. yeah. well, I'm guessing. Twenty. You're gonna like this. Twenty. Two thousand five. No, it's only thirteen three. Uh, oh, oh, this is the bomb. You guys can yeah. do it. You just say here. Yeah, yeah. 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 I saved you guys thirty thousand on the Ford. Give them the thirteen thousand today. He saved you thirty thousand on the Ford. So does that thing get? Does that get towed behind? Something? Does he understand that if we buy all this stuff, we're not going to buy the, the roadside mowing tractor that he wants? Does he well, that? I gave you a good one last year, and I'm not going to get into that one. It goes. It goes into like a trailer. We could put it in the back of the truck, but ideally, you you pull it? Yeah. So you just pull it around you. So you, it's when you're when it's doing its hydro seeding thing, whatever it's called, spraying stuff. Yeah. How does it move? The truck. It's pulled behind the okay. truck, and it's got its own. It's got a self-contained motor. It's got a pump. It's got a hundred feet of hose on a reel mm -hmm. that electrically rolls it back up. So we're not out with the Oh, motor. so you have to stand there and. You get one guy <laughs> in the truck and one guy running the hose. walking as you drive. Because you know, yeah. most of ours is doing ditching, so mm -hmm. it's, it's actually rolling yeah. along the yeah. side of the road. Mm -hmm. um, and is that the stuff that can come in all different colors or something? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I think it really green. looks. I think it really looks awful when they put the green down. Wow. I would rather wow. see like a ditch color, so it's not so. Obvious. Just so you know, so, uh, so you can see the contrast. It's I way guess. Oh, okay. So that brings me to the best part of this whole thing. Wow. Oh, there's more. Yes. We're glad you came tonight. It comes with a free keychain. Uh, yeah, free keychain. Right? No, it comes with a nice uh, set. Well, no. Owner's with, manual. With all the issues that we have with invasive species, mm -hmm. right now we're spreading hay, bales of hay. And don't think that there's not invasive species in that hay. Oh, I'm sure there is. This mulch not does not hair. have, this mulch does not have any invasive species in it. Oh. It's, it's, it's Are you buying their bag mulch? Yeah. Okay. You'd have to buy their mulch. Uh, oh, no, what's it made of? You can buy it anywhere. You don't have to buy a specific company. Oh, okay. You can buy the mulch from anywhere. So However, the like? mulch is is crushed up news, newspaper. So it doesn't oh. have any of these. That's what it is. It's not it's not hay. It's not yeah. Oh, that's oh, cool. cool. So that's huge. I mean that's a huge So could you spray product. that? <coughs> Can you spray that on the bases and it will kill them? No, 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 no. no. I mean, what it prevents is spreading weed seeds. Spreading seeds. More more. More. So when all newspaper companies go out of business and there's no newspaper, there's no newspaper left, 
Right. Well, we're in deep trouble again. We're going to spread ground up international. No, we're going to spread ground up plastic. Yeah. Uh, so, Jeff, you want to So, we also, with this, we, we would be wise to, to enter this company. It's like a municipal buying company. Mm -hmm. Saves us $668 just for signing up. There's no cost, there's no obligation, there's nothing. So sign just, up. It's so like, sign up. Sign up, right. Well, give me the green light on buying this, and I will. <laughs> I think we have to, you know what, we're going to be we'll looking know. at the budget with Sandra. Yeah. Well, that's not until June, June 10th. 10th. But we could see where we are at the end of the fiscal year. We're in the red right now. So. The, at the end of the fiscal year. I mean, if, if we're not, you know, over budget at the end of the fiscal year. We are. Huh? We are right now. But we, don't, but, but well, Sandra, we don't know. 13, we right, Sandra said 13, that could change. Yes, yeah. save thirty thousand and we're fixing the Ford. So come on. Thirteen. The highway's not in the red, is it? Well, we we're still the jury's still out. The, the highway. We got to see. We got to see. We got to see. I mean, we had a lot of overtime this season because of the weather, and so um, we so might tonight. know more by the twenty eighth. I could ask Sandra to figure it out so we know whether we can spend 13000 if there's money left over in the highway budget before the end of the fiscal year. How's that sound? Uh, yeah, I mean, what I'm hearing from Sandra is that we're fine. Okay, well, yeah, I, just, okay. We, I think we just Granted, need to double check. a couple more months to get through. Right. Month uh, on, month. The, on the, on the, news, on the newspaper, sorry. Yeah. On the newspaper, it said a mulch. Alfie, would you, could, would you consider having a conversation with the Conservation Commission just to tell them you're thinking about this? Do they have a particular reaction to it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I, you don't want to find out after the fact that there's a gazillion yeah. terrible right. reasons we shouldn't have done that. Good, good one. Yeah, yeah. no, we, I can, they're actually, yeah. they're actually meeting. I just saw their agenda. I could ask them to put you on the agenda to talk about this. Would that be all right? Are you available? Yeah. 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 I think they usually meet on a... It's Wednesday. Wednesday? This Wednesday this week? Yeah. This Wednesday. Katie can probably put them on the agenda. Day after tomorrow. Um, 5.15 yes. is Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. What time of day do they meet? They usually meet at 7 mm -hmm. here. I can ask Stephanie or Larry, he's the vice chair, I think. Larry Bush. Um, did you want to talk to them about a hydro cedar? And mulch alternative, really. Mulch. Yeah. Mulch alternative. Mm -hmm. They're going to gobble it up. I can tell you already. Good. Then then go there and enjoy right. that. Right. Right. <laughs> have a nice time. Spray yeah. all these it's better than a meeting. <laughs> they, they might have some concerns about, you know. And then the colors. The, and color, the dye or whatever. Them. Oh, the colors. I mean, we get a lot of heat about ditching mm -hmm. and making the road look wider. Right. If you cover that that bare dirt up, that raw dirt up with this that's green what we've been asking color, for. It's going to be looking like grass right, right. away. Right. Well, we've been asking for that. Right. Right. Oh, that's, yeah. Honest to God, I'm telling you, that's what we've been asking for. It doesn't look like somebody went through with a bunch of spray paint. Yeah, it does. No. But at least it defines the road edge. That's what we want. But the thing is, it needs it because it binds the stuff, it spills it out just like job. plastic. Yeah. As long as you talk to the if they're good, I'm good. A lot, yep. of our, a lot of our ditches, the back sides of our ditches are steep. Mm -hmm. This stuff, you can put a tack of fire in it, yep. and it just sticks right there. Yep. Yep. I saw you it in Woodbury. Have it rolling down and clogging yep. up into, yep. the, into yep. the ditch. And These are McCullough's years ago. Right. Yep. I will ask them to do a so revised you're, agenda you're and add you okay. on Wednesday night. I'll let you know. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. The 13th. So just remember Good. that. Good. Nice so work. Look at 30, all the money you can get. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and I'm okay with that because you. <laughs> well, the only thing that the only thing that I noticed is that he oh, misunderstood okay. that was site distance. He thought it meant site like house site to the road. That's not what we are looking for. Oh, I need oh, okay. the. Right. I don't he, have the. Judging by his design here, his I don't item. have the sign-off page for the. So did he have just eight? 
you get it staked out on the road, yeah. but when, it, when, it, when it's in the, in the permit, we ask for sight distance, which is one side of the road. Right, right. To the right. Yeah. Yeah. He measured from the driveway to his house sight. Not right. this, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, so, but, so, but, what, but you can you can evaluate with the site of okay, this. So I know, I'm saying it's fine. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, but wait a minute. As far as the permit, you might want to change be, those numbers. It's got to be amended. So, excuse me, so I was doing what I hate everybody else to do, which is talking to somebody else when somebody else is talking. Who's talking? I was talking to Judy about getting the sign-off sheet, so I didn't hear what Alfred was saying about the site distance. Distance. He needs to change the site. His numbers are inaccurate on the application. It needs to be amended. So you can amend it and sig signature it. Okay. And because it's what he staked out. It says and here a thousand feet. Is that what you're saying is wrong? Right. But he's his. He's thinking that it's site distance from the distance of the site from the road, and that's not what we're looking for. S I T E rather than S I G H T. I get it. John. I get it. I'm trying to understand what needs to be changed. I don't understand what needs to be changed. You don't get it. You don't get it. I do get it. Sight just, and sight. We just need to change the numbers on the, where it says, ask for sight distance. Okay. And I can do that. Because you've got 1,000 feet. There's no and way there's 1,000 feet. And so there might be one way, but not the other. So, I, so what should it be? He's going to figure it out. He'll go measure it and I'll put it measure in. measure it. One way might be 1,000 feet because you can see clear to Sadie Foss intersection. Okay. Are you? Feet. The other way is still, I, I'm sure it's under, it's over the limit, yeah. which is which is 300 feet is what it calls for. I'm sure he's all good here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be against approving this curb cut tonight. And I can just change the numbers yeah. as I measure. Hey, I want to, wait a minute, I want to find out if the board's okay with this. No. The, the application came from him. Right. I think he and Alfie should work out the right numbers and we should approve it from, next time. from the applicant accurately submitted. At our next meeting? I mean, what do other folks it's feel? Just, I mean, it's, just a simple it's, a, it's, it's on us, the site distance. I, we're not talking about where he put his house or something. We're talking it's about, about the curb cut. That's about where the curb cut is in relation mm -hmm. to the distances either side of. No, I I, I understand that, but what we don't, what I don't know, maybe Alpha does, is whether he thinks that that place is a big deal or not. Have you well, talked to him? Sorry. No, sir. No. I'm just looking at his design. <coughs> right. Okay. So this is his map, right here. This is Marsh uh, Max Gray Road. He's got his <coughs> a proposed driveway, and his house is way up here. This is his thousand feet that he's talking about. I don't care that way. I care this way. This is Max Gray right here. Mm -hmm. I want to know how far it is from here to there and from here to there. So and it has to be 300 feet. This way, it might be 1,000 feet. This is. And where would you. So he's well in excess of the middle. He's just telling us the wrong figure. Right, right, right. right. He's got it all. backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I see. Right. But our interest is yeah. the road, and you, you evaluate that anyway, well. whether he put a number, right number or wrong. It's based on reality. Right. Let's need to call okay. it. There. So basically, you think it's a clerical error that he put out. I do. Okay. But he did stake out the entrance, and that's what's in stake right. out. I'm and saying that he did. Need to call her. Okay. Thank you, Jim. And that's all. That's all I can say. And we add to the right. So as always. All right. So directions, restrictions, and conditions. It needs a culvert. Yeah. And we usually say what size culvert? 15 inch. Alfred will go out and get, okay. get a number. Okay, road plus or whatever it is. Yeah, number. The road commissioner will meet with the applicant. And what is the right terminology I want to use, Alfred? To Determine, uh, to determine the proper site distance. To determine actual or actual, actual site actual. distance. Because he's already established the, where the curb cut is. Site distance. Maybe do site distance as one word. Of established. Site distance. It's two words because it's two words. Right, I thought, so, I thought it was two words. Okay, well. Of actual site distance, distance of established curb cut. Right? Yes. Yeah. I'll call him just to clear it up and I'll go and measure so that we have accurate numbers of the distance. And measure for accuracy. Yeah. All right, anything else? 
Any more from here for restrictions? You have to call the number. Yeah, 15 years call your anything anything else? Okay. So I'll finish this up and probably I don't want to take time tonight to do it, so I'll finish it up and drop well, it off. Uh, yeah, if you want to just wait, I can get those measures tomorrow. Well, I'll just get the board to sign it tonight so it's all set to go. But I just need to fill in some stuff. And now for just needs to sign it. Right. Okay. Well, no, there's a whole. Um, I, don't, I don't sign it until after the work is done. Right. Oh. Signing off saying that. There's a notice of approval. <laughs> there's a notice of approval to proceed to construct the curb cut. And then there's the curb cut permit, so we need to sign both. Okay. Um, and then, yes. So I'll get this paperwork to you. How about that? Sure. And I'll get the board to sign off on it. So is there a motion to approve the curb cut requested by Chris Neff on, oh, what's his Sadie actual Sadie Foster. Max Gray Row and Sadie Foster. Oh. Right? Isn't it both? No, it's actually on Max Gray Road. Yeah, that's what it says here, Max really? Gray Road. Right. It, hmm. The permit asks for closest intersection. Right. And that happens to that's be the, the same Foss, Foss ah. intersection right. with Max Gray that's the right. closest. Okay. To approve the curb cut application number 2019-01, and the restrictions are 15-inch culvert, and that the road commissioner will meet with applicant to determine actual site distance and measure for accuracy. I think he's going to determine that on his own. He doesn't. You're right. not going to meet with the applicant. Go right. up tomorrow I no, I and measure. Think. No, but he's got to tell him what it is. No, he's going to go measure it himself. I know, but he has to tell the applicant what that is. Doesn't know where to put the curb cut, right? No, the curb cut's established. It's staked. Yeah. Otherwise, we couldn't do this. Yeah, he so, so the applicant has staked where the, the right location is. He just measured the wrong parameter. Okay. He measured the length of his driveway so, rather so than either said, side of the state. If you read what you so said, the part where you yeah, yeah you, you said meet with the applicant, he's not going to meet with the applicant. Oh. Road commissioner will determine to, to the actual, determine actual site distance and measure for accuracy. Yep. All right. I'll make that a motion. Okay. Is there a second? A second. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. This guy, I mean, we put it off already. So yeah. We put it off again. There was snow on the ground, I think. <laughs> I think there was, but that wasn't that long ago. No, there was I snow on the ground. So I'm going to pass this around for everybody to sign. Today's the 13th. Okay, anything else, Alfred? How's the crew doing? Are they glad that it's nicer weather? And yeah, yeah, their uh, spirits are good? Their spirits are good. We are switched. This is our first week on our summer hours. So it'll be four 10 hour days. Right off. Okay. Uh, is it yeah. summer like in East Callis? And I just don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. The flowers are up higher in East Callis right. than they are at it's, my house in North Callis. It's actually Calis. later than normal. Uh, Except, well, tomorrow we might get snow. Tonight, yeah. 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 Hey, I would kill the black flies off. Faster. That's what I was thinking exactly. So I was like, freeze so them out. Uh, but yeah, they're in good shape. They're, they're happy that spring is here. <laughs> Looks like Wednesday and Thursday is decent weather, so all the both graders just kind of. Oh, I'm sure. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, other than that, things are rolling along pretty smooth. Okay, so two things I wanted to mention. Last year, I put together a posting to put on Front Porch Forum and post on the website about the projects for the summer. Mm -hmm. Can you look at that and give me an update of what projects there would be for the the summer? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I know one is the paving of these counts. Right. Uh, and Toby will take care of announcing when, they're, uh, when the projects are actually going to happen on front porch form and right. stuff. But right. yeah. people appreciated what we did last year. Yeah. And there's a couple of uh, drainage grants that we have. Yeah. That we'll have. But I can throw those together for sure. Okay. Sounds good. Um, the other. 
thing is, is we're going to Pam DeAndrea. She did the. She worked with Carrie, whose name I can never remember. That separate consulting firm, CBPR, CBRPC, and they did that. Um, I don't think they've been working on it for two years. The Kingsbury Branch Stormwater Master Plan. And Pam asked to be on a select board agenda after the 13th to update the full board. And I don't think you were at the meeting that we did here because I think it was probably mud season or something. Yeah, it was early. Um, so I just want to let you know that's going to be coming up and you may want to come and hear what she has to say. Okay. Because they've got projects by, you know, what should be done first kind of thing. Right, but it sounded like they, didn't, they don't have the engineering complete yet. I don't know. She has sent a couple emails in the last few days. I just haven't had a chance to focus on them. Okay. And the other piece is, and this is on my chair update, so is it okay if I take it out of order? So we want to have a volunteer appreciation dinner. And I contacted Moe's Backyard, who hasn't gotten back to me yet, um, oh, to see about doing something like that. And we're thinking like on a Friday, late Friday afternoon. I was thinking about the town garage. As, a, as the place to have it. That we get everybody to the town garage. That was great last time. And we got a refrigerator in there. For right. Dinner. And there's plenty of. <laughs> right. There's, and it's not a work day because it's a Friday, right? Yeah. I just thought it would be a good way to get other people to see the garage. You know, they can climb up in the truck like Katie's kids did. Um, I just thought it would be a, an opportunity to have it at a different location and kind of show off the. Town garage and trucks and all that stuff. The only thing I'd want you to do is clean the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a date in mind. Um, I asked Mo's backyard for like several Fridays within the next month that they might be available to do it. But of course, I want to know how much it's going to cost first. But they were good when we did your celebration thing, Mo's yeah. backyard. Everybody seemed to like it. How much more are these, these new heavy-duty culverts that you're using? Maybe you can educate our select board about these. So anyways, be so before we do that, oh, sorry. So, um, so I just wanted to run that by you, see if you were, thought that was okay to have it at the town garage. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and there's plenty of space. By the time you take all the trucks out, we might need to bring chairs yeah, and I tables. Do, you would like some notice, certainly. <coughs> so you can clean. Clean, and yeah, I mean, it's, no, it's absolutely. a shop, so it's... But it, so should, it should be looked like, uh, and the office staff can help with the cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, arranging. Oh, we are on camera. Table cloths and that's what I'm giving you. I'd ask you to give us a hand loading some chairs in my truck to bring over there. Sure, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> tradition. Since he saved the thirty thousand, why is this? Machine. Thank God this guy's not on the select board. You have our taxes doubling in a year. It's a good thing I don't invite him to run. Thirty thousand bucks, guys. No. Don't you guys get it for thirteen no. grand? Could you, could you brief the select board on, on our discussion? You, you filled me in on how our our former style uh, plastic culverts were collapsing, and you got a we upgraded got version. Or we did, did that? that. We did that. Oh, you were because here. the new. I wasn't here. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, he did that last meeting. Never mind. How much more are they? Are they about double or maybe the cost the price per foot? Uh, they're not quite double, but they're they're up there. They are a little bit more. But they're holding up. You know, I've got yeah. the several yeah, the heavier duty ones in, and, and yeah, and it seems like they're collapsing right at the point. You hmm. know, where the where the coupler where is. They meet. That's yeah. where they collapse. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do any clay boils this year? The one at the, at the top of Moscow Woods? Uh, that spot yes. that you fix like seven there's times this season? One, yeah. There's a large one at the top on Max uh, Lightning. Lightning Ridge. Marshfield. 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 Lightning Ridge, below Dougie Millies. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of them, yeah. Is um, the one on Hagger Road ours or is that East Montpelier? East Montpelier. Yeah, that's that it. Be, that must be East Montpelier. We've only got a short piece of Hagger Road. Yeah. So hopefully you'll get a chance to do some of that. 
this summer. Yeah. I know you mentioned it before. Yeah, I'm going to mark them out while they're fresh in their mind. Yeah. And then if we get a chance to get, you know. I mean, that place you fixed, <laughs> it would, I mean, it was a little muddy and stuff, but nothing like those other monstrosities. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, there's those few that we did. I mean, you can see it's a, it's a perfect cutoff from where we started. The yeah, I saw the check in there. Mm -hmm. So that, huh? Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah, if you could, that would probably be something you could put on that list. Yeah. Um, anything else, folks? Ba the basswood tree. Alfred said he's going to get after that when he time freeze up. But right, Neil. But yeah, we really need you to reach out to Neil. Neil so I call him today. And oh, nice. I expect he'll call me. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, and we'll get together and take a look at it. I suspect it's not going to be a problem. You, you already talked to the landowner across the road. Who owns that? Uh, I'm not sure who owns yeah. the. I think it is it Larry. Uh, is it Larry Bush? Larry Bush? I think it's Larry Bush. Oh, he owns the entire length of that. I think so. Yeah, I think he, I think he's the one who raised the issue. Right? Or no, no, you I've been it. raising it for years. Yeah, no, but I think freaks me out. Larry, I really feel like it's more. It leans more every year. I really feel that's going to. I think grow. Larry mentioned that's it. It's about to rot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I I really don't. I think. That yeah. Neil is going to just say yeah, it's, hazard. It's hazard. But we just need to make sure he follows the process. If he's supposed to have it, mm -hmm. supposed to have a hearing, he'll he'll know. Yeah. He'll right. know. Right. And he's the one who determines the right. owner and all yeah. that too. So. Yeah. Well, hopefully um, things have settled down a little bit as far as working around the clock kind of thing. Yeah, 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 definitely has. Okay, perfect. Uh, town hall, I'm scheduled at some point this week to dig for the next concrete right. uh, portion. And I keep hearing rumors that we're doing the septic system. Also, I think there like might. That. I think it's been. I think it's been talked about, right, about having the town crew dig the hole. But you know, the flip side is they know that you have, and we know because Cliff and I go to those meetings that you have other work to do. So only if it fits into the schedule. Yeah. And if not, we'll have to hire somebody else to do it because we have talked about it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just didn't know where we all were with that. Yeah. Uh, Last I knew, they were in a bit of a hurry to get it done. Yeah, well, things have slowed down a little bit. Okay. Because we have to get permits and all that stuff. Yeah. So we'll keep you posted. John's, John McCall is pretty good about communicating with you, right? About stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, that's, okay. that's how I know. This right. Is, okay. Yeah, because he would, because I know he, he would never ask you to do it without knowing that, that we know. Uh, actually, the the guys looked like they had a good time last year when they were doing it. It was something different. Yeah. That they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. For sure. Well, septic systems are different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. It's still digging a hole, right? Yeah. yeah. No, you gotta be careful. You don't over dig. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little different. Okay. It's, uh, yeah. Everything has to be. Can't smear it. You want it to flow that way, not that way. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't smear the soil. Huh. Is true. In fact, it's supposed to get in there with a rank. Yeah. yeah. But with a, with a mound system, you don't have to install it. Right. This, yeah, this is a mound. Place. Yeah. yeah. We will make sure we keep you posted on that. Okay. Anything else for Alfred, folks? I don't walk out with Alfred. I want to show him my idea and see if he thinks I'm nuts. <laughs> okay, well, don't. Well, he already knows that, but the idea is nuts. Well, we can be yeah. about the parking thing? Yeah. Well, we can talk. We can ask him to stay because that's one of the next things on our agenda. Oh, oh okay. We can all walk out. Try to get your fifteen no, no, thousand. I want to walk out, take an angle, take a walk, and then talk. So it's not mind's eye. So we can just walk right out here. Oh, you're talking about that? Yeah. That yeah. idea. Yeah. See you later, All right. Okay. It's not on the agenda. We can do it. Well, it's road work. commission. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you okay. Site visit. Site visit. Take. We're gonna stretch our legs. I got this idea. So, as part of the DRB meeting that was held last week, should I roll up? You can follow us and handy cameras, unplug it. Just do the. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think you're going to get any. Oh, so the, light, the light won't be burning. Yeah, the DRB 
is concerned about parking and embankment here. I don't know where how far back our property line goes over here. You know, I don't know if there's any buried legendary. Do you have any memory or any sense? Ledge. It's all legendary. I think that's why we have to push it over this way when we go this So we can't dig back and you know, open this parking lot larger. You know what I mean? uh, we could try it, but I'm sure we'll find legend here. But I'm nothing sure you can break it. loose with your Because if we could get this thing expanded would be a big help for over there for overflow, so we have less cars in the road. Because there's no way to this part of the road we'll do right now. Yeah, I know, this, this is terrible. Right, there's not enough yeah. parking here. Right, so. But that, that was a thought. Okay. Um, well, we're going to have to use the well over there, too, correct? Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I think that's, isn't that, is that in the, is that in no, the it's right over here. It's right over here. That's right here. Yeah. Okay. So that's, but, you know, if you could, Next time you're in the area, the excavator may be over there. Come over and take it. I can stop around. Yeah. I can stop around and see. Think. But I'm pretty sure we'll find lives. But even if but we still need to find maybe it's out that end. end. Maybe at that end, yeah. we, could, we should lower it. That's a thought. Or build a shelf. So yeah. yeah. All right, go up and yeah. top of the ledge. Yeah. Well, that's a thought. Right? Yeah. But so we, we also need to find out. I think we can gain half a dozen cars. Yeah, that's true. So that's yeah. Right. But Alfred, I mean, do you want Alfred to stay while we talk about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, we have another technical issue. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> I keep asking. Uh, no, right. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. No problem. No. Okay. Exercise is good. So, moving along on the agenda. Um, Cliff and John and I attended the DRB's hearing was it last last week on Thursday. Was it Thursday? Ninth, was it? It was the ninth, I think. Was yes. it the ninth? Um, and we had a was I know it was whatever day it was last week. Katie joined us. Thank you so much for coming and taking select board minutes for that meeting. It was it ended up being okay. Um, it, it was a little difficult in the beginning, but we got through it and we made some progress. One of the things that the DRB um, raised, and rightly so, is in Regulation 3.10. I don't know whether we can call that up on the screen so everybody can see it, but it talks about Parking, loading, and service area requirements. And don't forget, this is the town applying for a permit just as anybody else would, so we need to follow the same rules as everybody else. Um, it's called 310A, and the A is a capital with parentheses. Parking, off-street parking, shall be approved on the same lot as the associated use or adjacent lots within 1,500 feet under the same ownership or permanent easement with approval by the Calis Select Board. So that's why we're talking about this now. Um, so the idea is that there would be parking, you know where the front, you know where the current access is to the town hall? The side one? Yeah, the only one. The there driveway. Is, the driveway. Oh, that's There's yeah. only one driveway. I thought you and you go myself. towards, going towards Kent Corner, on the left-hand side, we're proposing that additional parking for events, should it be needed, would be on that side of the road alone. And I can't remember now how many cars there would be. Do you guys remember how many cars we thought there might be I on think that? they had it on their map. Was it not on the other, other side not, of the road? No. Same side of the road as the town hall. But mm -hmm. down past the hall. Down past the, the hall towards, towards Kent Corner. The hill. Where the, hill. the septic system is so it wouldn't be across the street to bother the in-pens because um, they've asked that whatever we do, that we not allow parking like in front of their house, which is totally understandable. We said we would, we would have cones up to show where there's parking and where there isn't parking. 
So what the select board needs to do to meet the DRB's requirement, according to the zoning regulations, is approve the parking on that side of the town hall. Am I making sense? Yep. Am I making sense? So there's a, so basically, Denise, if I'm remembering how the configuration, there's a parking lot there now to the left of the town hall <coughs> as you look at it. The current parking lot. Right. Yep. So it's kind of expanding. Well, and we're looking along. to well, and we're looking to expand the parking lot on the other side of the town hall as well. Okay. So that's additional parking, I think. Well, the field we're going to allow the field to be used. It'll still be a field. So we were looking at was was it seventy? Parking spaces, I think we came up with total. Oh, it's about we, 70 total. Um, within, including the on street. Including the on street parking. parking. So we talked around 20 or so in the parking around the building. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was more like 30 and right. an additional 40, 35, 40. We could be allowed along the road. Was it, are you sure it's that way? It might the way around? The other way around. Because it seems like there was more parking available in the lot, yes, you're right. in the field. 35 than along spaces on the street is what it was. 35? Yeah. yeah. That's a lot. It is a lot. It's, it's all on the town hall side. And it's approved by the uh, emergency services, like right. the plan that John submitted. So, yes, this works. Um, we would have provisions in our um, rental agreements when people are um, using the town hall. That they would have a parking attendance. <laughs> right, and there would have to be cones put along the other side so nobody's parking on the opposite side of the road. Mm -hmm. so and I, that I allows the traffic to. Keep moving allows for emergency services vehicles. I was wondering also, and it was part of my thinking here, mm -hmm. and this is not part of the approval, but down right. the road making it just better, is if we could build out that embankment, you know, there's a brink there, and widen it so people can, so there's, there's a wider grass area so people can then get parked on the grass and more up the road, make it safer, and it'd be a good place to get rid of some of that material <laughs> if that becomes part of it. If not, you're talking about the what you proposed tonight. If if this becomes something that's viable, yeah, it's okay. I just want to make uh, sure for, that you know, you're talking about property line checks right. and all that. There'll be material that has to come out of there and mm -hmm. disposed of. And if we could, you know, if it works for you, if we could widen mm -hmm. that shoulder on that side of the road so the cars can get more off, so there's a larger grass area, not a larger road, but a larger grass area. It's a way to dispose of that, make it safer over there. Um, and if that doesn't if that doesn't happen, we, you know, whenever you have extra material from ditches, if you could just start working on that, if you think that makes sense. I know there's a culvert there that have to be lengthened. But. You mean the, over here? Over yeah, the over hall. by yes. Yeah, toward yeah. Ken Hill from the hall. So if yeah. you can make that shoulder wider, then we can get the cars off the road a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. When they you park for events, you know. Right. right. So, so I don't know if there's any truth to it or not, but I've heard through the grapevine that there was. They're asking for a curb cut, or might be asking for. A they curb did. Cut. They did talk about a curb cut because there was some concern about the distance from where somebody's parking at the end of the the lot yeah. and having to walk to the building, right. um, and the safety of that with vehicles coming in and coming out. So there was some concern about that that was raised, and it's legitimate concerns. Yeah. But the DAB, who advises the DRB, because it's in a historic district, was not in favor of adding an additional curb cut. And if the select board has always said, you know, try to only have one curb cut per project. So, you know, that's kind of been our belief, and I think it's in writing somewhere, to always try to have just one curb cut per yeah. per lot. Per yeah. lot, or whatever I you call it. Those. A few reasons why I would support that decision. To not have a second curve. So not have a second curve. No. Yeah, and I think John McCullough and you went out and looked at it, and we reported back to the DRB yeah. what you said, you know, from John McCullough's visit with you about the curve cut. So that's on the record. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay. But it's on the record that um, John, Ernie, and David met. And right. And the DAB said no. Absolutely opposed it because it's in the historic district and when you come down Kent Hill and you're looking at that building and the, the field and 
<coughs> what we hope are some nice per gardens there that the edible garden people are doing, it will take away from the historic beauty and value of the building to have this big, huge new curb cut. Can, that's a design perspective. Alfie, I would like to hear your reasons, because, just for the record, because yours, your reasons are going to tie to counterpoints around safety. Yeah, well, and he, he, like I said, we did put it on the record. It is on the record yeah. over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can name a few. Right, just quickly. quickly. Yeah. There's, you're going to lose a bunch of parking spaces. That's not safety. Keep going. Um, site distance, you're going to have to cut a bunch of trees that are in the protected, the 50-foot 50, 50 buffer zone. Okay. And it will add to the erosion into the erosion in, into in, impervious the surface that will add erosion and sediment going into Emsley Brook. Right, right. Because it would be a huge impervious surface to create this new mm -hmm. driveway with the crushed stone and, and all that. And that, would be a whole, and that would be a whole other permit process to right. get approval. Well, we'd have to approve it selectly. Because we do curb cuts. We're filling the floodplain. I don't know. Right, the, right, right. I don't right. know how the we even do that. Thing yeah. Is not yeah. Us. The state permit, I think, to fill the floodplain. Okay. Uh, so it does so increase. My big bad, thing though. was an impervious surface, I think. So, so their concern, just so you know, DRB's concern was, their concern was because of where the septic is going to be located on that field, yeah. they they would like for us to be able to move the septic closer to the road, so that then the, the parking isn't having to negotiate around that because it's kind of weird. Um, and they were also concerned about people walking from that field, not having good footing or visibility. But I, I, I went and looked at it. I mean, there's plenty of width behind the mm -hmm. building. I, I don't think they have it in their mind's eye, the, the true dimensions there, and, and well, there's plenty has, of room for Peg a walkway. Peg has since gone and looked. Oh, she has? Yeah, oh, so good. Peg, Peg went and looked, Excellent. so she has a different, a better pers perspective now on, on what's there. And um, Excellent. Remember, we were supposed to contact Don Marsh, so I contacted John McCullough, who contacted Don Marsh and said, really, the septic can't, cannot be moved. I'll forward you the, the yeah. email. And they need um, to know that. Because Peg, that was one of the things that we came back with from the DRB was to ask Don Marsh, the engineer for the septic, these specific questions. He said it really can't be moved. If it was going to be moved. It would be just a matter of a few feet, which would not make any difference. And then they wanted to know, remember, about parking. How close to the mound system can you park? Yes. And he right. didn't answer that, but I don't remember the Ten answer. Ten feet and twenty-five. Twenty-five feet yeah, down, downhill, downhill on the stream side. That's where it drains. And and then upstream, uphill, 10 feet. So I think we answered all the DRB's questions yeah. that night. And now they have this final answer on, from Don Marsh. One of the other final things is for us to approve this parking that we got distracted from. So I just want to circle back around to that and see, I don't know that we need to, we can just put it in our minutes that the select board approves off street parking. On street. Off street. On street. This says off street parking shall be provided on the same lot by. Let's well, say the parking lot. The area for parking shall be a minimum of. It's the town's land. Why do we need a. No, no, no it's no. approval for the, the additional the spaces on the road along the side. Even though it's traditionally been done when we've had meetings and other things there. It's just something they asked us yeah. to do, so we're just yeah. going to do it. Well, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm not trying to be difficult. No, no, I know you're not. You're I'm saying, just saying one thing and John's saying another thing. The paper says on street. And no, the paper says off street. Off street. Okay, so there's the difference. Which which is it? Well, it's because. The zoning says off street. Zoning says off street, so, so I think we so make a motion. The field down below. No? What, no. what I'm understanding is that because it's the town and the town is the the town can authorize parking on the road side because the select board has authority over the roads because so it's not in the drb regs it's our road no, and we can say yes you can park in the right. towns right away <clears throat> along the roadside this is pretty unique we would never do that well actually you're allowed to park along the road zone says an ordinance right there's oh, right. state there's oh, state right. statute. So, there's right. state yes, but, this, but this but yeah. this is something that's going to be but for us to right. say out loud and put it in right they just want the select that board they just want to know that the select board has approved parking on the side of the road 
and I don't know whether it's north, south, east, or west, I'm not any good at that, but parking along the side of the road, same side of the road as the town hall. As described in the plan, we can reference. As described in the plan, in accordance with zoning section 3.10. As, this, as in the town hall parking plan? Was there a specific? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Parking, parking exactly. plan. Yeah. I don't think I brought, I don't think I brought any of that stuff with me. I'm showing you. Um, but right. you guys, <coughs> Cliff, were there. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 yeah. No, no, no. yeah. Cliff was there. Do you want the motion no. to say which side? You said it's on the same side of the street as a town hall. Do you want to mm -hmm. differentiate what direction that is so it's not in front yeah, of the ink pens? Between the town hall and town hall. No, it's not on both sides. Okay, got it. On the just town on hall the side. town hall side. No, 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 I got that, but on each side of the town hall. You got you Between the, the, the town hall and Kent Hill. Kent Hill, correct. Kent Hill. The actual hill. But yeah. not, on, <laughs> not, on the, not on the road Along leading Kent up Hill to Kent Hill Road on the town hall side. Right. Correct. Okay. DRB. You think that's going to be good enough for them? If they want a letter, then we will. Uh, we'll do a letter. Do a letter that echoes what we are agreeing to here in this meeting. Well, what I thought I would do is I would eat. Well, let's do the mo Let's vote on the motion first. Is there a second? A second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So when Katie finishes the minutes, I will send them the minutes and the statute that John. <coughs> found when we had the issue over in Maple Corner last week or the week before. And that should satisfy what we said we would do to fulfill our last, I think. Yeah, it was just that they wanted, the DRB wanted it to be clear that they didn't have any jurisdiction to, in the permit authorized parking on the road that had to come from us. So they wanted something saying that we were okay. With They're being very thorough, very, Diligent, which is which is good. That is good. I mean, they we want you they, know, we want them to do that. Yeah. Right. They have to be extra careful that the town isn't getting any special favors. treatment. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's what we said. You know, we don't want it. We should we treat it just like any other applicant. Review the deed. Just want to make sure everything's square with the deed. We still have to have that. Yeah. Deed. And it was found. Oh, it was. Yeah. And it has our name on it. I hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> All set. Okay. I think that's it, unless you have something else. Thanks for staying so long. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. All right. Glad to be here. Okay. Thanks, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Um, Act 46 or CVRPC? Do you have a meeting tomorrow night? I do. I, I missed the last one. <laughs> I get goofed up on my Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, and Act 46, I, I know, I, just, I spoke with Kate Webb today. By happenstance, she's a chair of House Education in that bill, H39, oh. I think it's number. Yeah, H39, yeah. Um, it's going nowhere fast. I went to a committee of conference. The conferees couldn't reach agreement. Kate said that the House and as the, um, the House conferees need to write a report as to why they couldn't reach agreement, what the substantial issues are, I guess. Is that the Spruth? Yeah, yeah, the thing that we read about in the, yeah. in the uh, what do they call that? National Choir or mm -hmm. something. Um, right under Trump. So, um, so uh, it, it's looking like that bill's going nowhere. Um, if the legislature is successful getting out this week, it's definitely going nowhere. Um, there's a possibility that a couple other conferees or, or a new group, Kate was talking about, Chair. Kate Webb um, mm -hmm. saying another two members from the House and Senate could wind up being appointed to kind of see if they can sort out the differences. You know, I, I said to the chair, I said, you know, we're, we've been moving on two tracks all along. You know, we, despite how we were described in front of her and the Senate committee, we are not recalcitrant. We just are trying to ensure that, that our rights are being preserved and our interests are being preserved. And that's why we have the lawsuit. And um, that we fully expect we're not going to have a budget in place by the prescribed deadline and it will be up to the sector of education whether he wants to do something mean-spirited to show who's got power and who doesn't um i said i would hope not and i'm going to say it's, it's kind of on you guys too we presented this to you guys early on in the session mm -hmm. way in the beginning way in the beginning and nothing's changed everything we described is 
In fact, we'll and they're planning to adjourn. Well, you know, they they would they would like Friday, <laughs> this week? Saturday, but this you know, week? I don't think it's going to go next week. Oh. Um, wow. So, but anyway, so that's where we're at. I don't sh the Kit Webs and you know we got. I guess they were provided some listing of where all the different consolidated districts are in terms of the consolidation effort and the budgeting and all that mm -hmm. and the appointment of the new boards and um, that as long as people are moving forward and there's there's some schools down in southern Vermont that aren't doing that and that that's where the issues are but we should be fine okay so thank you I think we're okay thank you for the update thank you for yeah. all your time you yeah. spend at the state house well that's for my job I know but I understand that. this is just a this is not a by accident thing. right that's all right today um, we don't have any appointments, reappointments. I gotta look back and see who's left that we need to do. Um, you want to give an update on the RFP? Sure. Um, proposals are due from prospective vendors um, four o'clock this Thursday. Uh, All right. I know that we will have um, proposals from at least. Four different vendors, including our existing IT managed service provider. Mm -hmm. We have already received two to date. They're in the office right now. Unopened. Unopened. Um, and our, we can say our existing provider is RD Tech. Tech. Mm -hmm. Yes. Out yes. of East Montpelier. And we will, um, you'll see in the agenda, Not there's an update on our meeting with them as well. Um, interesting thing that came up is one of the vendors uh, submitted a um, public records request to review the um, existing contract and we uh, checked with uh, Jim and yeah. he said yes it is subject Absolutely. as a public record so um, <coughs> we went ahead and discussed this with RB Tech and told them that we'd received this request mm -hmm. give them a chance to voice any objections because they did write a confidentiality clause into the contract that they understand that that cannot be received the public records right act. So, um, wow. that being said, uh, Ruben, well, of course, wasn't happy, but understood that it was something that had to happen, and so oh, we fulfilled good. the request. And Ruben is the proprietor of Arbitech. Ruben, 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 yeah. I, I do that. <laughs> right. Yep. Cliff, when, when, that, when you provide that response, Mm -hmm. um, to the other... The information was made available to all vendors who have expressed right. an interest. Yeah, Chris, are, I mean, Cliff already set Excellent. that out. So, yeah, we, Jim said to level the playing field yeah. that you should send the yeah. current contract to everybody since one person's asked and everybody mm -hmm. should be privy to the wow. same information. Yep. Um, it's an interesting world out there. Yeah. You know, we could get as many as seven. Are Amazing! I was worried we wouldn't get two. Well, that you know, this when, is when Jim first got here a few minutes before we started, we were he was asking us how many bids we might get, and he was surprised. He was like, four would be great, but seven? He said that's something like unheard of. But you know, with all the this stuff that's great. come up recently with mm -hmm. Memric and you know all those issues, that people are really focused on this and and cybersecurity. Yeah. It's huge now for towns to be protected because there's some kind of a state requirement that you have to be able to show that you've tried your best to provide the best security possible for of information in the IT world if we're ever hacked into it somehow. I just, I just find this shocking mm -hmm. in, ama in an amazing way. It's yeah. like we put out RFPs for road projects and everybody in this Right. The state seems to own their own backhoe and tractors, and we can't get bidders. <laughs> and then this is something as yeah, I mean, well, know, odd as this that we IT, have all this interest. That's wonderful. I, I know, isn't it great? IT's big, big stuff. Yeah. So one of the questions we have is the bids are due at four o'clock on the sixteenth. It says in there that we will. We had uh, said that, uh, and we did say that the schedule is subject to change um, based upon circumstance mm -hmm. uh, but we had said that th we would uh, start reviewing the proposals um, as a board on the 20th mm -hmm. 
Um, the 20th is now we can come in individually and start and get caught up like we do on our paperwork. But right. Board, Denise would... and I talked about this, and um, rather than trying to stick another meeting into the middle of everything, <laughs> um, we were wondering if the board would entertain the idea of Denise and I meeting at four this Thursday to open the bids that we receive, okay. review them. Crazy. Um, we would then scan them, make them available to the select board in the Google folders to be mm -hmm. able to review. Uh, yeah, are those bids considered public? They have to be. Okay. Yep. So we would ask Katie maybe just to set up an uh, IT. I don't, or, I don't IT, think they're public till we award them. IT RFP. I, I, I think I it's think, yeah, yeah. I think, I think after public. we award it, I then think it the opening public. can be public. Like if someone said, "I want to be there when you open them," right? I think they can. We can do yeah. that. Right. Because okay. we have that we don't have stuff. To, we don't have to publish them right. per se. Okay. It's if somebody but, asks. Yes, if right. somebody asks. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, we once we award yes, then that is okay. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, once we award. Yeah. So so what so we're, we're asking is to delegate to Cliff and I to open the bids on the sixteenth. And you guys will scan them. And Put them on a, on a Google Google Drive. Yeah. It's not a public Google Drive. Understanding that if there's it's a request, it's in the select board folders right. for yeah. the select board members to review, and if the public it'll be here for asks, the right? If the public the asks, then we'll, exactly, then we can provide those. And then um, probably, I'll let you all tell me how you want to proceed. If you want me to uh, do a summary, mm -hmm. um, comparing. Ranking main or, or, yeah. points mm -hmm. from the different yeah. uh, proposals and do a yeah. presentation to the select board. I'd be happy to do that. Wow. Do we well, want to? Be great, I mean, right? Don't knock yourself out. Well, you've already done that. Right. What? What I? What it's I? Pretty easy, actually. I got a system. Um, but then that's putting it. That's putting it all on one person, mm -hmm. and I would like to see a process for something that's as important as this, with the, the money at stake and possible bidders, would you be willing instead to develop, I don't know, one or two page score sheet that allows each of us to have a tool mm. for reviewing the bids? Like a rubric? A rubric of some sort. Yeah. Um, and then, then we've got a framework for each right. looking at it and yeah. kind of supporting a a good discussion, and I don't know if it's appropriate even to have the staff also do that. If it is, their input would be yeah, awesome. Yeah, I would like to. Well, we could talk with them at a staff idea. meeting and yep. go through them. I just want to make sure that if we're going to do it that way, that everybody is committed to to reading the documents and actually doing it, and we pick a date certain by which we're going to right. review it, because otherwise. Right. What, what timeline did we provide in terms of decision making timeline? Can I say a little more about this? Yeah. I think the reason that it's important to do it that way is that we've got a, um, a systematic approach to scoring the bids um, rather than it's one person's kind of impression mm -hmm. and summary that then you, you all know, then we're all going to rely on that. And mm -hmm. that, that. Are well, you saying this in lieu of? I, I was hoping I'd like to have his summary. I would like to have Cliff's Because opinion. of his experience in yeah. IT. Um, it's just his opinion as one member. and then we What then I still. could propose is that we do what you've suggested so that everybody has a chance to do some of their own analysis. I could do a summary that does not provide a recommendation but simply considers yes. strengths, weaknesses, oh. opportunities, and threats that I perceive mm -hmm. from each of the responses we get. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, I see you as kind of our in-house IT, IT person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the other thing, too, is that when we put out this RFP, each company had to be able to meet this and yeah, meet that right. and right. meet that that's and meet that. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to be disqualified. And so if everybody is meeting that, but they're just assigning a price, in a way, isn't it like well, there's looking be at the bottom different line? Different approaches to meeting those big categories. Mm -hmm. So, right? Yeah, we, we laid out some specific of language service. about you Level know you service. will include this information in your response and whatnot, so we can see how well 
they responded to that. Um, I think it would be beneficial if everyone did take a look and had a mechanism for capturing their thoughts and reaction, and then we, you know, look at all of that in, in a group discussion. Um, and like I say, rather think, than providing a recommendation, I can do a simple SWOT analysis mm -hmm. for each of them, and then we have that to. So, what does that acronym mean? Strength, strength weaknesses, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Um, and if the board was to all do this, and then we sat down as a board to review it and make our decision, that would be like a meeting on its own, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and here's, here's our schedule. So what we're proposing is instead of a board meeting on the 20th, close my open the bids on the 16th. Um, oh, and we would invite them. What to we'd like to do is ultimately, I think, unless there's somebody who's really, really strong, we all go, oh, this is it, we're done, which I don't think will happen, but. No. What I'd like to see is we agree upon a short list. If we get seven responses, if we can say, here's three people right. or three companies that we think might make sense to talk to, yeah. we then can we would schedule have meetings. And it could be that all seven are equally on first that blush would, great. We'd have all, that would make, make the case would, for then, that presentation. Then we would right? probably push out our uh, notice to proceed date right. Right? because we would want to schedule those yeah. meetings yeah. and talk to each of those vendors. I, think, I mean, I think we've done a really good job of, right. of so, this. So notice to proceed means proceed to go to contract? Yes. Okay. Right. By July 1 well, for the new fiscal year? Well, it's probably, it might not be by July 1. And our contract with RB Technologies yeah, well, automatically, we 60 renew, days automatically before, renewed. Um, yeah, it would, if we don't go with RB Tech, or we change our contract with RB Tech, there's 60 days to Notice. exit from the existing is our, contract. Is our contract renew on July 1? No. It renewed. It renewed um, already. May 1st. Well, okay, so it we're not on any deadline for no. that. No, okay. no, no. All right. So, so it's either, I mean, so we, need, we should just take our time. Yeah. Should yeah. we provide notice now so that we're not, so we can start the new contract? And if we don't, just give them a heads up. Could we open this up, mm -hmm. give them notice that just to get the clock going, and it doesn't mean we're not going, we haven't even read the things yet. Right. But it seems like we talked about that a little bit before we sent out the RFP, but it was by the time we got the RFP out, it was already, mm -hmm. already but automatic. But if we started it now, mm -hmm. I mean, at this, so that then, I mean, maybe we, they, they get renewed. But um, yeah, we don't know it's just so that we're not hamstrung with somebody I think we with somebody who knows they're not going to get the renewed contract, and then we have to deal with that situation for a long we, period. We have only one week where we're sitting down to look at the well. You guys open on Thursday, right? And I don't know if we're going to meet next week to do this or if we're going to. I don't I mean, think there's going to be time, no, time for us. To probably not time for us to initial review. assessment, but we could do it by June third. No, I meant do it now. No, Sharon's talking about oh, something different. Oh, okay. You're no, talk, we didn't oh, finish your. We didn't. I was responding to that though, saying, you know, take yeah. one more half step in the process. Uh and okay. get a read like when, okay. when we because okay yeah yeah that makes sense yeah. you're so, right yeah. you're right we could have seven viable but don't forget price is in there right yes, so yeah. they could all be awesome but yeah. there's going to be some price outliers yeah and right. yeah they might say we just can't do it for this price yeah and so sure. that that's a that's a filter yeah. right there mm -hmm. and then we get it down to three or four Absolutely. maybe mm -hmm. presenters mm -hmm. and then you ask them for best and final oh, right mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and somewhere in there we can. Okay. But I think the board could meet on, so we now. maybe the, we could commit to meeting on June 3rd, a special meeting, um, just to go over the bids and the reviews and everybody have an opportunity to weigh in and just keep it just to So to we'll that. get them before that to oh, yeah. review? Oh yeah. It, just so to, be, just be like to clarify weeks. my point, I think Sharon gets us to make sure so the board understands my point. My point is, I would not want us to provide the official notice as per the contract with RB Tech 
if they did not win the award of the right. contract, and then we have them for 60 more days with their not no, knowing. I see what you, yeah, I see and what I think that's a problem. Mm -hmm. But we and might it's not fair to them in some ways. I mean, they could obviously back out, but it's just not a good. But we know, could do. So we give them the heads up, and if we. But we may know that by June third. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't be ready on third. Just FYI. Yeah. The, so you guys can. I'll send you my assessments. Yeah. yeah. Send us your assessment. Jack graduates that day. Oh. Oh boy. On a Monday, graduation on a Monday. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, mama. Monday's oh, fine. Boy. I don't care. Effectively, okay. they are on soft notice. They know yeah, what they're like contractually. Right. Right. Like. But. No, he got it. He, he understands it. that, and you know maybe we should talk about our meeting. Yeah, well, that's on here if you want to do that We're now. We are on camera. But can we can we can we first do okay. the motion? I think somebody made a motion. I can't remember now. Uh -huh. No sure. motion to allow to authorize or to delegate Cliff okay. and I to open the bids at four o'clock on Thursday, May sixteenth. I'll make that motion. That's yes. great. Thank you. Okay. Second. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Okay, and then the next step after that will be for us to scan them, put them in a folder. Mm -hmm. Cliff can give us a tool. The, the tool, the SWOT. You know, maybe, maybe make those scans no, available to you. Cliff is going to do a SWOT. Right. And he's going to give us an assessment. Too. Right. Different things. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. So the scan a stuff SWAT. maybe give them the duty. In case and can you put in the minutes what SWOT stands for? for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Right. Analysis. So it's not SWAT. It's SWAT. Something tonight. It is so interesting. <laughs> Those of us who have spent decades in corporate world, it's mm -hmm. like such a thing. And, it's and generic, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. 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 Well, it's like I go to it's how you do, right strategic, away, it's how you do strategic planning. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Uh, so are we all good on that? Yeah, what I will try to okay. do once we've done our initial review is have those files available to everyone by uh, the start of next week to review in the Google folders. Okay. Can you just send a little reminder? Hi, they're there now. Yeah, Thank yeah, that, that would be my plan. Um, just depending the volume of them. Some of them are coming in bound. We can ask for it electronically, can't we? We can. Yeah. Let's, let's ask that. for it electronically. Oh. We should have thought of that. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Well, no, we can still yeah. we can still yeah. send them an email and say, can you send it to us electronically? All of them. Please yeah. send them. The ones that we want to. We just didn't want to gunk up our servers with a lot of stuff that we didn't need it. Right. So yeah. we that's why we asked for hard copies. First, and then if we decide we want to right. electronically, and we then we can. may, yeah, they may not, right? They right. May be, they may be well, the public may want them. So mm -hmm. if Judy gets a request and we want them electronically, right. That's then we have a, we'll have and they already copy. have them electronic. They're gonna have them electronic on their own. Well, so we have hard copy. Copy. People can come in and look at it, and make copies, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. We're modern now. I know the modern age technology. Mm -hmm. All right. So you want to, let's review since we're talking about this. Let's talk about our. Meeting with RV Tech, we did that last on the 9th. Sandra, Judy, Ruben, Cliff, and I. And it, I thought it went well. He was very sincere, very genuine. Good. We went over some issues that the staff. Yeah, um, brought Judy up. and Sandra had an opportunity, he provided them ample opportunity to discuss the issues that had arisen, especially with Sandra's computer. Um, and the length of time it took to resolve it and whatnot. He took mm -hmm. it to heart. You could tell he was listening. He wasn't just paying yeah, Who was it? Ruben. Ruben. Oh, he actually. Yeah. yeah. And um, wow. he uh, renewed his commitment to wanting to continue to partner with us and provide the services. He was going to go back and review the particulars of the cases that Sandra and Judy had brought up. And the cost. And the cost associated to see if it might merit a refund for some of the nice. extra um, wow. yeah. extra service that we paid for. Um, he expressed that they are very much in a growth mode and, uh, for lack of a better term, um, experiencing some, some growing pains as a result of that. Mm -hmm. He is having to 
basically retire his tech hat and full-time yeah. president. Uh, president hat. It's transition. Um, wow. So that I can certainly understand why there could be, you know, issues in uh, keeping their arms around everything that's going on. Um, one of the questions I asked him is if in the entire existence of RB Tech and all of the different clients they serve, if there had ever been a breach under their watch, and he said that he had never experienced it, but their support has always been able to prevent that from happening. I was surprised that he had him between 100 and 120 clients, mm -hmm. and they've only got 11? They're working on number 11, right, personnel? They're, they're bringing in, um, yeah, they've got a, between 120 to 130 clients. They're um, in the process of hiring another person to bring their staffing up to 11. Goes to 11. Yeah, and that's I where, just had to say that. And then that's where Ruben is going to realize that he needs to be having a face-to-face -face conversation, a meeting with all of the clients oh. mm -hmm. on an annual basis to get feedback, to not just get it from the technicians. Right. Um, so I think it's been a learning process, oh, a growing good. process. So I was really pleased to hear him say that. He it takes a lot to admit, I think. Oh, that's wonderful. That's good. So I give people I credit. I can make for copies that. of this if anyone would like it. Um, he oh, provided us executive with the summary. executive Maybe. summary, which is just their kind of estimation of where we're at and um, what they imagine doing going forward. I think That'll probably see be in that a lot year. of this echoed. That's probably right. where he probably took it from their drafts, right? Probably. Yeah. 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 That's, that's good then. So our, you know, we're probably not alone, but the fact that we took the step to actually formalize mm -hmm. our process and go to RFPs. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think because he wanted to meet with us because he heard about the RFP, so he wanted to actually meet with us before we sent out the RFP, but we said, you know, and, and truthfully there was just a bunch of stuff going on, there just wasn't mm -hmm. time to meet with him. So as it turned out, we met with him last week, which was fine. Yeah. And he didn't, he didn't focus on, you know, why did you guys send out the RFP? I mean, I think it's... He's a businessman. He knows. He knows that we're just doing our due diligence. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. said he would work really hard to make sure that we didn't have to bring in somebody else. So definitely looking forward to seeing his seeing yeah. proposal. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And we let him know that the public records request, I think Coach might have said that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I think that's it, unless you guys have further questions great. on that. Awesome. Good okay. process. I just wanted to bring to your attention this, uh, Katie put it in the... Google folder, right? This no monthly NEMRIC audit. Mm -hmm. yep. This is our first audit from NEMRIC to meet our responsibilities of having a monthly audit done, mm -hmm. not by a professional auditor, but by it's the internal audit. The internal, part of the yes, system. yes. Mm -hmm. the internal controls. Which is one of the reasons we want that. Right. So this is our first report. So mm -hmm. I, I read it. I read it. Yeah. Um, Something we need to go back to back in September of 2017. Um, if you look at the no, September 25th, 2017 minutes, um, this has to do with the traffic ordinance. And we were presented with a draft or an updated or revised traffic ordinance. And the reason this came up is because David Ellen Bogan emailed. Toby and I, and said that there was an accident at the bottom of Kent Hill Road right here, mm -hmm. and Pekin Brook Road with a bicycle and a vehicle. I guess nobody was seriously hurt, but I always wondered why there is no yield sign or stop sign People as you come down Kent right Hill, through, because I've several times, many times, yeah. had an issue with either somebody coming off of that road not stopping and looking, or somebody coming flying down here. So there's already somebody who doesn't think there should be a stop sign, there should only be a yield sign. Um, and I did talk to Dan Courier, and he said we really could do whatever we wanted, but because we have this ordinance, we need to update the ordinance to make mm -hmm. a change. So the ordinance process is that the select board adopts the ordinance or the revised ordinance, and then 
people have 45 days to, or I think it's 45 days, to object to the ordinance or the revisions to the ordinance. So I think we need to put on our agenda coming up, I don't know if it'll be 28th or one or the 10th, but we need to, to do this and I'll forward you the draft revised ordinance or did you already put it in the it, it up there. yeah there it is right there yeah. so that's the revisions and you can see in red the changes that were suggested um these are all the most recent or these were um, suggested oh, in yeah. august of 2017 well, we, never, we never did it yeah. Yeah. yeah we didn't we kind of this is recommended by the sheriff because where they were writing tickets in places that we yeah, they did. We just stuck signs up. No right. Ordinance. And also, they put. I don't know what happened. And this is back when Jonathan was here and he put yeah. names to road numbers. Yeah. So, right. that's, so right. that's very helpful. Instead of it just being Town Highway 2, yes. we know it as Worcester Road. Right. Um, so, so, just kind of getting back to Kent Hill, which is kind of motivated this conversation. Right. You know, to my mind, yield signs are great as long as there's good sight distance. So, you can, as you approach the intersection, you can see as you're approaching. Because mm -hmm. a yield sign really means to be prepared to stop. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a vehicle coming. But if you can't tell, like Lightning Ridge, until you are at that intersection, that's the wrong place for a yield sign. Right, okay. that needs a stop sign. There's not enough time for you to be in a yield mode and move mm -hmm. to a stop, right? I don't know what the situation is here. I don't know if you have enough sight distance. Sight distance well, and, and, and yeah. time ahead of the intersection to look up. If you don't, then people are going to have to stop. Well, there, like I said, there's already been one person that says, we don't need a stop sign, we just need a yield sign. And, you know, David Ellenbogen asked us to put in a stop sign. He's our TAC person at CBRPC. Um, so we can get Dan Courier to, to maybe weigh in on what is the best choice for this particular intersection. Um, but we just, I just want to put it on your radar because we are going to have to deal with it. I don't have a problem. I, I understand the appeal of a yield sign, but I think to John's point, it would be even hard to assess right now because there's no there's no relief out yet. Right, not yet. Yeah. By the time we get to it, they'll release. Well, right, but I don't. But I don't see a. To me, put a stop sign and be done with it. Right. You know, like. Yeah, I mean. Right. Right, and that's what we can well, talk. Then you have to stop other cars to come in. That's so right. I think that's, that's the point. Yeah. Right. But, but from but fuel that's, economy standpoint. Well, that's that's true at you know many many places, and we all know. you know use our judgment as here. So like Cherry Tree Hill, if you guys know that in East Montclair, mm -hmm. where it comes down yeah. the hill, yeah. heading north. Yeah. yeah. Um, that had no sign, and then they put a stop sign. Well, they took a yield. It's now a yield sign. It had oh. been a yield. Oh, it had been a yield. So my son Brian stole the sign and put it in my door yard. So Mike Garen retaliated. Oh, I don't care if it's on camera. Mike Garen retaliated because he knew Brian had it because it's in my door yard still. Mike put a stop sign. Oh, uh, okay. So and then when everybody was no. up in arms screaming about it, no, so Mike put the yield. yield back. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we're not going to. We're not going to. Yeah. We're not going to have that happen here. Yeah. But so, anyways, I, I just I want to put this on that. your radar because it is going to come up, so it give you the opportunity to think, some think some about it and there, look at the. Hmm? I've seen some close ones there. Yeah. People roll right through that. Oh, they did. Yeah. People roll through the one at Maple Corner, and there's two. I mean, intuitively, on both sides the, road. the base, the Kent Hill Road, is a stopper. Right. And the main drag is. I mean, I usually. Yes. I usually slow way down or stop if I can't see. But anyway, so anyways, we're not, so we're gonna put it out there that that's gonna come up. Um, Can I just say something about yes, this? Yes, ma'am. I read, I read it today, mm -hmm. and I think um, it, it needs some improvement. There is a couple, um, can you scroll back up? There's, like he, the way Jonathan had it worded, he bunched, um, Right there, Bliss Pond Road, Fowler Road, Advent Road, Lightning Ridge. So in the top, he gives us the names, Town Highway 48, Bliss Pond Road. But then when he tells you to the intersection of Town Highway 45, oh, you don't know which road that is, mm -hmm. to 35, extending for 0.8 miles to the intersection of 48. Well, so uh, what page 45 is up? up above. What page yeah, is so 45 is uh, six. Page six? Page six, yeah. Do you want to send me... An email 
I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who has this document in Word. I think what. I think what Toby sent me was just a PDF. I can't yeah, remember. You can, this uh, is you can edit in Google it. Docs. So this is just, oh, Google Docs. Do you want to go in there and just um, make some notes? Well, I don't. But see, I don't know. It just, I don't know which what those numbers no, but, are. No, but you could go in there and put in. Here's a comment. Issue. Oh, oh, oh. Put sure. a comment so that, so, that we, so that we remember oh, to sure. answer the questions. Sure, sure. Because I think yeah, that. Because like, that was a section I was like, oh, right. So we don't know whether which one town highway, what, what's town highway. So then you would say, like, here you would town. say town highway 45 parentheses, Old West Church. Right. right. Yeah, that would make it clearer, oh, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I was going to say Bliss Pine Road. Oh, no, because 46 is worth five. But if you can just go in there and make yeah. a comment that we yeah. need to make that clearer, yeah. that yeah. would be helpful. Yeah, and then way down at the bottom where you just were, we decided at that meeting, no stop sign, Haggett Road, Center Road, entering Adamant Road. We decided. Uh, yeah, um, we did decide that. Yeah, and so that needs to get right out of there. And this right. is a Word document. It's a Word it document? It is in there as a Word document. Yeah. But oh. if it's in Google, then we can do it that way, too. Mm. Yeah, so just maybe just... Put a strike through yeah. that one. Yeah, and we didn't do that a while ago. Yeah. But I don't. I want to. Don't yeah. want to get too much in the weeds tonight because yeah. I want people to just put it on your radar. Yeah. Um, because it's already almost nine thirty. Yeah. yeah. I'm turning into a pumpkin. Right yeah. Now. My dog's on. We have to talk about the horse, right? Yeah. Um, oh. shed horse. Elizabeth's shed. For that one. No. no. Oh, okay. So. Um, do you have any update? From All right, everybody I assume has mm -hmm. seen the emails. Mm -hmm. The most recent thing is uh, Elizabeth played phone tag with the barn manager of the stable where the horse was going to go, because I think the plan had been to bring the horse back from the rescue place in New York, stable it here in Vermont while Elizabeth Shed got her property ready for the horse. That stable in Vermont refused the horse because of the strangles issue. That's the disease. The strangles. Uh, it's a disease that oh. horses can get that is highly contagious. Oh, oh, that's and they actually can choke. That's what I call strangles. Swells the throat. Yeah, that's if, what if they have a, if they're an older horse or they have a depressed immune system, it can be fatal. But in most cases, they will work through it. Oh. But while they have it, it is contagious to other livestock, um, dogs, and in very rare cases, people. Hmm. Uh, so uh, one of the neighbors uh, had discovered this when she was getting Elizabeth Shedd's horse off of her property. And it's asking Elizabeth Shedd, you know, put up a barrier because we're bringing our horse home this weekend which would have been the weekend we just experienced. Yeah. And we don't want, you know, we don't want this horse to get sick. So my wife, Elizabeth, spoke, well, played phone tag with the barn manager at the state. But you're here. married to Elizabeth Shedd? It, no. Okay, so, I, oh, that's why you My Elizabeth is spelled with a Z. Z. Okay. And the other one is with an S. Okay. I didn't know something happened while you... <laughs> My wife's name is Elizabeth Perry. She is the uh, alternative animal control officer. Okay, so I'm sorry to interrupt, but hold on. Um, any rate, we don't have anybody who's an official or an authority who put it down in writing that this horse has strangles. We can't find the name of the stable where the horse was staying in New York uh. because theoretically that is where the diagnosis was made. And we would need this in writing from a vet or some other authority that the state vet would recognize because once they're <coughs> advised of the horse's condition by someone that they can recognize as making that diagnosis, then they can come in and take a look and see if the additional actions need to happen. I mean, is it possibly this horse could already be through this? Mm -hmm. kind of flu thing the, 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 barn, the, 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 the barn manager told my wife that she thinks the phase of the disease where it's you can see that the animal is sick that the horse is done with that but she also believes that the horse is still contagious because mm -hmm. there is a period of time after 
the external symptoms are gone where the animal is still contagious. Mm -hmm. And that's why she didn't want the animal there at that stable. So I believe Wilson Hughes apprised me that wherever this horse has grazed, that that land needs to be like not grazed for some period of time. Yeah, it can basically the, the Four weeks or something. whatever it is, 60 days. Yeah. yeah. So is there a reason why I don't, and I don't know whose responsibility it is to build the fence. Who, whose fence is it currently that needs to be fixed? Is it the neighbor's fence or is it Elizabeth Shedd's fence? It, the fencing that <coughs> needs to be repaired is Elizabeth Shedd's property. So she won't but let the neighbor? No reason why the neighbor couldn't do something. But, it's but just do they, you know? And you know good. this, and you know this. You can put a fence up. Mm -hmm. Electric fence is most likely what they're going to use. Mm -hmm. the hair will get out. And if that animal does not have enough food and is mm -hmm. green grass right over there, yeah, they'll go walk right. It's going to run right through that fence. It's going to be over there. Well, I think that's so, why she I lets mean, her horses roam freely. She does freely. not have pasture on that property. Right. She lets her horses roam it's freely. Woods. We know that this from last year when we kept getting complaints from mm -hmm. neighbors in Maple Corner and. East Montpelier and everywhere else. So our problem situation has returned. So in terms of trying to drill down to who made the diagnosis, it sounds like our only recourse at this point would be for uh, one of our animal control officers to contact Elizabeth Shedd's father because he is the one who would know what facility well, he the horse made the was at. Right? Yes, the horse was at in New York. I believe Wilson has spoken with him before, um, but he is reticent to get heavily involved with the family because he he's had a bad experience. He's had some bad experiences. Um, Who's reticent, Wilson or the Wilson? Doctor? Wilson. Okay. So um, maybe a fresh so voice. So yes. Um, our second animal control officer is willing to make the call um, if Wilson still has the contact oh. information. Okay. Right, no, I think so. And she Wilson may be willing to call the father. Right. He experienced some frustration right. with a different family member. Okay. Right. So. so, yeah, I think the two of them should work it out and somebody should call the father. But we wanted to make sure yep. everybody was aware of all the details. and. This happens independent of any directive from us. This, right. is, this is just an update. Right. Exactly. Right. I mean, they are they have the authority to be the animal control officer. So yeah. Yeah. unless there is some money to be spent or a legal issue. Exactly. Right. But we do appreciate knowing what's going on because we hear about it, you know, in the grocery store, at the East Cal's general store, from Did a neighbor who called, you know. Okay. Did she move her car off of the road? Yes. yes, yes, that's no longer an issue. Okay. Now we're back to horses. She's only got one so far. She talked about, their word has it, she talked about getting the other horse back plus another horse, mm -hmm. another new horse. So, that's the update. Anything else on horses? No. Okay, here we go. So. If it is, you were in the area where the horse has been grazing, it's recommended that you, uh, before you go around where other livestock or animals might be, that the shoes you're wearing, that you treat them with the chlorine to kill the spurs. Yeah. If you, look, if you look it up online, it, there's a lot of information about the disease. And there is treatment for it, but Elizabeth has refused medical treatment for the horse. We are antibiotics that you can treat right. with, but yes, the disease will run its course if the horse is otherwise healthy. It can work through it. It just takes time, and then there is this period where it's contagious. Right. So, okay. That's it. Yep. That's it. So, so a little horse anecdote, since you reminded me a little fun on the way out of here. Well, I no. Found out a couple. Oh, we're still meeting. Well, the problem is oh, we have minutes going back to March. We keep putting off. Because people haven't read it, and they're not ready. We really need to get these done and caught up. Can I get a commitment from everybody yeah. that we'll do it on the 28th? Yeah. Yes. I want to do it tonight. Yes. Do it. Can we do a couple We would tonight? do a really bad job tonight. 
We could do it first on the 28th. Let's, I mean, we, this, just, this just needs to get done. And we keep putting it off, I don't know, for the last however many meetings since the end of March. Okay. 318, yeah. since the last And, you know, I get it that people haven't had time to review them and stuff, but if I could really get a commitment, I would appreciate it. Yes. Make more commitment. Okay. So we had a ton of stuff tonight. Started at six. It's past nine thirty. Wanted to thank you guys so much for being available and being prepared and asking good questions. And you know, there's just there's a lot going on. There's always a lot going on. It always amazes me. Yeah. But I wanted really wanted to thank you. I wanted to, how much I appreciate you. You guys are a great board. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Very thank you. Thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you. And Katie. And Katie. Katie. Our, Absolutely. Our, Absolutely. Our, our, six our, our wonderful, <laughs> I mean, she comes, at the last minute I asked her to come to the DRB meeting because I knew Tim wasn't going to be there yeah. to take notes. Before I got there. Um, <laughs> oh, no. And I'm sorry. I should have introduced you to the board and it just, they just started kind of talking. That was thrill to get started. So anyways, and she's always available, and she's helping the planning commission, and she's helping the conservation, conservation commission, commission, and swim committee. Are we keeping you busy? Yeah, jeepers. Okay, good. If you're Thank not, you. let me know. Thanks, Ron. Thank she you. reminds me and sends me to-do lists, and the list gets longer. How many people here know the show Mr. Ed? Or old? <laughs> Yeah. You're too young. You, no, oh, she's no. not too young. Are you kidding? Mr. Ed. Did you know Doris okay. Day died? Yes, Mr. Ed. Yeah. Did you know Doris Day died today? Yes. yes. Oh, no, I didn't hear that. So do you Sorry. know how they got Mr. Ed to, to do talking? Vaseline. He Vaseline? Peanut, peanut butter. Peanut butter. They put peanut butter oh. in that poor horse's mouth, and it was going... <laughs> I don't know if you could do that today. But that's but what they used to do. Peanut butter doesn't hurt them. Dogs no, it's love. sticky. So I know, the I know. Yeah. But it doesn't, it's not like it's, <laughs> I think the horse probably likes like it. Okay. But I, I just thought that was interesting. But. Dogs love So dogs. you're going to send me the. Uh, All right, so we need a motion to, to adjourn. I could. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.